Hi Crypto Enthusiasts, welcome to Vika video series. This video will be focused on understanding the deflation in cryptocurrency. Fiat or traditional currencies are mainly dependent on supply and demand and their circulation in the market is also controlled. Through the supply-demand principle and they are inflationary in nature. There are some cryptocurrencies that are inflationary as well but a few of them are also based on the deflationary principle such as Ethereum. A deflationary currency is one in which the value of that currency increases over time due to a decrease in the supply of the currency. Deflationary cryptocurrencies have better value as their increasing demand and decreasing supply add value and increase their worth with more people treating them as a store of assets. This deflationary or inflationary nature of the cryptocurrencies is decided during their development phase and if deflationary. A burning mechanism is finalized which is pre-programmed and reduces the circulating supply of a certain cryptocurrency. Deflationary cryptocurrencies like Ethereum are better for acting as a store of value as investors have the confidence that this asset is becoming rare with the passing of time. Just like Ethereum, Tokens can also be deflationary, take the example of VCA token which was designed to be deflationary. And it is called a noflation token where 90% of the token supply will be burned over time to increase its value. This burning mechanism is already in place and has removed more than 60% of the token supply from circulation and will continue to do in the future. Users or traders with VCA token will benefit with every burning phase as the supply will decrease and the token they own and hold will increase in value. Not only the deflationary nature of the VCA token will help its holders but also the other use cases including its use as any other cryptocurrency for trading and store of value. Learn more about VCA token by following the link in the description.